Hello friends and enemies, for today's video we are doing something we have not done in over a year and reviewing a compilation album. The album in question is Compilado Volume 1, Festival Under Latino Americano by Tumbas y Ternas Records. Tumbas y Ternas is an independent record label from Lima, Peru that mostly focuses on dark alternative music genres such as post-punk, death rock, and cold wave, among others. This here compilation album is a compilation of 17 songs by different dark alternative artists from throughout Latin America. The countries represented here are Mexico, Venezuela, Peru, Costa Rica, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Uruguay. So that's 10 countries, 17 songs, 17 artists, 3 languages. The artists are as follows, Capitals of Mexico. Recipe Morado from Venezuela, Dulce Muerte from Peru, Enigmatica from Costa Rica, Civil Hate from Argentina, Ariel Maniki and the Black Halos from Costa Rica, Plastic Noir from Brazil, Ariane Uno from Peru, Old Providence from Colombia, Delirium Mask from Chile, Funerals from Mexico, Hidden Souls from Argentina, Virgin Dramatica from Chile, La Calmorgue from Ecuador, Ego Eris from Brazil, and Los Ojos de Medusa from Peru, and La Memoria from Uruguay. About half those bands I already knew, half of them not so much. Certainly, if you're a longtime follower of mine, either a viewer or here on YouTube or any of my other accounts where I share music, you've probably heard of a good portion of these musicians, even the ones I have heard of. I have not shared all of them because I try to focus exclusively on goth to the best of my abilities while this album is more generally dark alternative. Sure, there is a lot of goth and close enough goth adjacent here, but there are a few other genres like industrial and hard rock bordering on metal, though I'm not sure I would call any of these metal specifically. According to the album description, the featured genres on this album are post-punk, goth, dark wave, cold wave, electro, synth pop, EBM, and future pop. I will be honest, I do not know the exact definition and differences between some of those, especially the ones mentioned at the end. They could have arranged the songs on this album in any way, alphabetical, by country, by age, whatever, but what they did was have a few by similar subgenre, then sort of trade off, I guess so you don't get bored of any of them. I know the previous album like this that I reviewed really tried to lump all the songs of similar subgenre together, but I guess whoever picked the order for this particular album chose the approach of variety throughout. That being said, I think that there aren't any overly jarring transitions The switch from song to song, even if they aren't totally the same genre. Still feels smooth and cohesive. Shout out to whoever picked the order of the songs for knowing how to make songs sound good together even when they aren't the same genre. As I think I've mentioned in previous compilation album review that I had similar comments about, if the goth night DJ was feeling particularly lazy one night, they could just pop in this album and it would be fine. No one would suspect a thing because it feels like an ordinary compiled playlist, diverse enough to not be repetitive, but cohesive enough to work together. Well, maybe that doesn't totally work on this one because I would not consider all of these to be dance music, but you know, you need to chill when you're at goth night too, you know? Overall, while I would not consider myself to be a fan of every song on this album, I don't consider that to be a bad thing because this was not a compilation made for me specifically. This was meant to showcase different dark alternative artists throughout Latin America of all different varieties, and I feel this album successfully showcases a good variety of artists. If you've watched this far into the video, please leave a comment with the CD emoji because I bought this album on CD. You can buy it on CD too if you like. Last I checked their Bandcamp, there are still 38 of the original 300 remaining. I have the Bandcamp and other links for Tumbas y Ternas linked below in the video description. Unfortunately, YouTube does not allow you to have an endless number of links, so I can't have links for all of the artists, but I assume that if you're on the internet, you know how to look things up. If you want to hear more about goth music from Latin America, please subscribe to me here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, blah blah blah. If you want to follow me elsewhere on social media, my link tree is also in the description below. Until next time! Bye now.